Hello everyone, how you doing? Let's talk about King's Way. King's Way is a game that I like. Um, I'm not sure if I like it as much as I first thought I did, but uh, I like it a great deal. It is, let's have a look, how much is it? I, I keep forgetting to like check the uh, the things that matter. Um, it is it is priced, it has a price. It is not even very expensive. It's like, I wanna say it's like 6 dollars at full price. Yeah, it's 6 dollars at full price. It recently went on sale for £2.79, which is when I picked it up. It's published by um, Adult Swim Games and developed by Andrew Morish. Um, yeah, it's uh, been around since the 18th of July, 2017. So it's not even a new game, but it's new to me. And that's enough, or should be enough for any of us, really. But I played it and I was like, it's so interesting and new that I kind of have things to say about it. So I'm going to do a new character now. I'm going to choose the mage class because I, I've played uh, I've played all the classes now. I think the mage is, while being one of the harder classes, is also the most interesting. So we're going to choose that. We're going to call him Bob. Uh, we can edit the portrait if we want, but there's not much point because you don't ever really see it ever again. So randomize, 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 randomize. Uh, 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 that one. That'll do. That's Bob. Um, and then we're going to go accept. There we go. And then we can start the starting perk. Now, the starting perks, we, you know, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to the starting perks in a bit. But yeah, there's, there's a way to get more starting perks. So uh, you can just choose any one of these and it gives you an edge to start with. So plus 10 health points seems reasonable. Accept. Hello. There you go. Uh, this is the game. It looks like it looks like a VM. It looks like it looks like a new a new like a new desktop environment or something. Uh, it looks kind of I think a bit like XFCE. Um, but all these things here, like we can we've got the music player over here, we can load. Oh, there you go. Now we can play with the music on. All right, music's actually not bad. Look at this one as well. Loads of tracks. Yeah. Don't know what this button does. You know, we'll we'll try it. Um, and we'll stop that now because you can minimize it if you want or you can just close it and get close it entirely uh, we've got a quest panel open here we've got the bag we're gonna want the bag open right we want the bag open yeah it's like an rpg but it's a desktop environment it's so cool um and then we got a character sheet open a character we I always put my character up here look up here and then we get the world map open which is the, actually where the main bulk of the game is done um so here's the thing this is your character here or this is a representation of your character in the middle here right uh, this is obviously your your character stats and stuff. And down here, we've got health and magic and such like. Uh, we've got a log here, which I'll be honest, I haven't found much use for the log, but, you know, leave it on if you want. It's fine. Um, it's fine. Um, we, can, oh, we can also go directly to the bag. There's a button to, like, be. Shortcut keys are a thing once you unlock them. Uh, so now we can go any one of these directions. No rolls or anything or distance. Thing. We just, like, we can go in this direction. The game works out where you can go and, how and why. You can increase your distance, and sometimes it unlocks more points. Um, but what you're trying to do, essentially, is get to a king's castle way on the right-hand side of the screen, like way to the east, right? Um, the further east you go, the harder things get. Um, and it, it's quite rapid how hard they get, how fast, actually. But we've got a first quest here called Orientation, which just tells you to drop this letter we're reading now off, and we get a nice little bag for the supplies, which is good. But obviously, we're going to head straight there, so let's go there. Travel. Yeah, it all it looks like it looks like a desktop environment. It's so fun. There was games that actually looked a bit like this, like on when you I remember playing Windows ninety five games. In fact, I think maybe there was some before even Windows ninety five, and they were just like Windows floating on your desktop that made the game up. Some of them was really good, and what this game's trying to do is like relive that a little bit, but at the same time, they've made the fact that it is a desktop environment more relevant and more centric to the actual gameplay. You'll see what I mean when we do our first attack. The bandits look aggressive. Okay, so there are three of them. Let's talk to them. Okay, we can pay off fights or fight. And you'll see, see the way the window moves? That's one of the mechanics we're dealing with. More complicated, faster enemies will literally move their window faster. And if they send a throwing weapon at us, we have to track it and click on the button on the screen. We'll try and do this without dying now. There we go. Yeah, shit. Another one. Yeah. Another, another bandit's turned up now. They did say there was two bandits. It gave us all the information before we started. We're going to pound this bandit's face in with our... A broken sword. Uh, you can block if you want. If you just hit block, just hit block. We'll we'll take less damage when they hit us. Uh, you know, and again, the speed of their attack becomes important. Now, oh, there's fucking another third bandit. I did not even realize that we can use our potion over here. Look, make sure we don't die. Uh, and it is roguelike. Um, it's a shame it's a roguelike. I think it could be better if it's a full RPG. But anyway, we'll get into that later. Um, we can just at this point in the game, we can just hit him. Okay. So, because we've done a good fight, and that's the fight I often, we often see fights like this at the beginning. So, we'll do, we'll keep this window open for our skill point. We'll move it over here, right? Um, we'll minimize that for a second so we can deal with this. Loot, 
Bandit's got some shit. Drag and drop it into our bag. Continue. Loot. Oh, what's that? That looks good. That's good. So we can write down that properties. So minus 14 damage to demons. Plus three re regeneration. Okay, cool. So we can put that on there for now. And while we're fighting humans, that'll be fine. Uh, continue. I got loot. Ooh, um, oh, what's this? Thief's garb. What's this? Properties. Uh, requires level three. Okay, so we can equip that now. It'll just tell us no. All right. So we'll put our dirty shirt back on. We'll put that in our bag for when we're level three. Uh, and then continue. Right. And then we get the world map back up. And then it's got, we've leveled up. Okay, so obviously we can use our stats here to level up. So we're going to go, okay, so I'm a mage, so I want some intelligence and agility. I don't really want to get hit. Um, vitality, though, is like, yeah. Vitality is like increasing access to health points. We haven't got a lot of health points. So we've got three points. So I'm going to put two in vitality, one in intellect this time, which I think is a good move. That means we've got 36 points now down here instead of was it 32 before. And we've got, you know, a little bit more intelligence increases our magic pool which we're going to need but early on i think it's best to just get a little bit of an edge on health try and get up a bit more and choose a new skill so here's all the skills we've got available personally i like poison because it's a damage over time it heals quite good um, but let's learn poison learn that and it goes over here that's the learnt stuff sometimes you can upgrade these so if you've got a point you don't want a new skill you can upgrade an existing one poison upgrades and it's good um, and then it appears in your bar down here so when we attack this is the bar we see let's do close that down now Search for the treasure. Cool. Oh, treasure there. Look. Book of One Mastery. Cool. Let's use the Book of One Mastery. Use the book. There you go. Learn skill. One Mastery. We're going to need that because we're a magic user, or at least in theory. And then we're going to go to our next destination, which is the Guild Hall. We hand in this quest. Oh, and then we can poison that guy. Look. Now he's poisoned, and now we can just hit him. And the poison does most of the damage for us, so we can just sort of wait. Go okay, done. Loot. Nothing found. Okay, a lot of mouse work in this game, and that's intentional. So we can get to the guild now and go to quests. Submit. Yep, all right, we've got our supply chest. Thank you very much. Uh, and we've also got guild storage we can use as well if we wanted to. I store all the all the prizes you get, like, like skulls and banditids. Sometimes quests pop up where you actually need them. There's no quest right now. Uh, and then we can open the supply bag. And in the supply bag, we'll have supplies. So we always get that hearty ring, which is cool. Um, what that does is... Plus one vitality, plus four magic item, fine, which is nice. Potions we want quick access to in the main bag. And what I tend to do is I leave the keys or items I'm not really interested in in here. But mostly it becomes a key bag. Then the keys are just out of the way and don't, like, you know, cover your inventory. Bag can have 10 weight and the main can have 25. So whatever you put in this bag doesn't seem to get subtracted from here. Uh, and then we can go to the shop. And um, first of all, we want to sell this ruined armor. We're not interested in ruined armor. It's pointless. Don't need it. Don't want to smoke bomb. Um, there you go. So we've sold our stuff and we've got 54 gold. So let's look. Wooden wand. So wooden wands are good. So 26. So that wooden wand, yep, that does one to two damage and plus four magic regen. Now, what we've got here that we're currently using has got, oh, I just clicked then, has got uh, zero to one damage. So the one's good to so we'll add that to the cart, right? View item, check out, complete transaction. Yeah. There you go. That goes there. And then uh, we can go back and we can also sell that. You can see there we've got zero gold for it, but it's out of our inventory, so that's fine. Um, and was this was this level three we have to use it? Was this level three required? This one? So level three plus nine escape chance. Don't really want to do any escaping, but like level five defensive armor will be good. Yeah, and uh, also things are here. If you see a if you see a health potion here, always worth buying, of course. Uh, and if we were gonna be magic users, we might as well add that. We could have added that to the cart at the same time, but we'll have that as well. You can never have too many magic potions, right? Uh, and if we would have bought the scroll of heal there for six, uh, no, we'll leave that. We don't need that. And then we can stay at the inn. If we stay at the inn, it'll fill up our health and our mana. It's also an armor shop, a weapon tavern, and travel. Once you've been to a tavern, it's unlocked. All the taverns you can quick travel between. Uh, so let's go to the travel. Let's pay eight gold to slay the knight, and you'll see our health goes up and our mana goes up. So it's eight gold, but it's a nice little top up, and it'll it'll top you up for most things. Uh, okay. So what's this? Uh, that pop up down there just means something disappeared in the quest window. I want the best deal on potions due to the recent influx of outsiders, undead demons, blah 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 blah. So, beast eyes potion coupons. So, four beast eyes potion coupons. So we've had that, which means we're probably going to face more beasts. So, just on a side note here, this ring here that we have that gives us uh, gives us damage, minus damage against demons, undead are classed as demons. So, we'll just bin that ring for four gold. Uh, we've got four gold, which is good. Um, yeah. And I think that's how much the uh, oh, the scroll of uh, the scroll of uh, I thought there was oh, quite because there was a scroll of heal there. 
Anyway, armor shop got anything for us? Yeah. Lots of travel boots are five gold. We can afford that. Let's do that. So we'll get that there. Just throw that straight in our character there. And uh, you can see that the uh, travel boots plus two travel distance and defense one. Not great, but I didn't. That wasn't going to do with that gold. And you know, at least I've got some boots now. And then obviously we wind up. We kind of want to head east and level up. This here will be a dungeon. I'll try and show you that. So for the purpose of this video, I'll sh I want to show you a dungeon. So we'll head that way. Usually I'd go down, explore all down here, then go up. For brevity's sake, we're going to go this way. Probably have a fight on the way. No. And sometimes there are events when you reach a location. Sometimes the events happen on the way to the location. This is just a normal shop. Uh, I don't believe there's a guild hall there. Oh, cool. Poison this thing. You see, this one that has a different movement type. They seem to move in roughly the same shape as their as their, their drawing. So this one's around, so it's kind of goes around in circles. It's fine. Yay! Loot that. Nothing found. No, but we did get 19 experience, which is nice. Uh, okay. There's another wonder in the distance. They look scared. Approach them. The wonder appears to be injured and asks your help. Okay. So we've got one potion, right? But the Wanderer wants the potion. It's the right thing to do if someone's in need. So let's give them the potion. Uh, the Wanderer gains strength and thanks you. Okay, talk. The Wanderer gives you 17 gold. That's all right. You can buy a potion for like 8 gold sometimes, depending on where you go. So that's cool. We can talk rumors or talk advice. You only get to choose one of these. So if you talk advice, you get sort of game tutorials and little tips. But all in-world rumors. Okay, so the Wanderer tells you about a great treasure and marks its location on your map. So now there's a great treasure there. I could head that way. And what will happen is when I get there... If there will be a, a slightly harder enemy to defeat, um, and when I say slightly harder, I mean like a boss level enemy. Uh, we're probably not ready for that yet, but that just stays on our map, so we can get that later. And eventually, a shadow starts formatting on the map, starts formatting, starts appearing in the map, which kind of implies that you can't go back. And as you go across the landscape, the shadow follows, but it follows so slowly that so far in my gameplay, I've just ignored it, just completely ignored it, and it's been fine. Uh, travel here, so we travel it up there. And I'm going there first because he can get supplies. So oh, there's an undead there. So we'll poison him first turn. Attack him. And then we can block quickly. Look. We'll take less damage. So if you can quickly hit block like this. Like moves. Oh, there you go. Loot. Travel boots. Oh, looks like I've just bought some of them. So these are travel two, distance two. Not all items are equal. But though in this case they are. So we'll put them. We can sell them. Continue. We'll go to the shop. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just sell them boots straight away. Just sell them boots. And there's a health potion. Now we've got 17 for the health potion. So, you know, we're, we're kind of like, we're kind of up on the numbers. We're, we're up by one gold here, which is not, not low. It's pretty fine. And we've got a health potion now. Uh, we don't have enough money to sleep uh, in the, uh, we don't quite have enough money to go to sleep, right? It's kind of a shame. But at the same time, put my, actually, I'll, uh, I can put my key in here because we don't need that key. He's open chests in case you're wondering. Uh, and we don't, it's eight gold to sleep. So we can't have got enough money to sleep to fill up our, our health. So now we'll just go straight to the dungeon. Again, it's only for the video. Usually I would have made a few different decisions. So enter or leave. Let's enter the dungeon. There you go. Here is our dungeon. It's lovely. Um, you can't move around and mouse around here, which is a shame. But uh, I'm going to go north, I guess, because it's as good as same as any. You can see the, the world map changes now. Uh, you can get items that let you... There are items that let you escape. Oh, there's the exit there. But you can get items that let you escape the dungeon. So we found our exit early on. So if we go this way now. Yeah. Oh, a priest, level three priest. We can we can probably we can probably muscle through this easy enough. Uh, with the combination of the poison and the uh, and the attacking, that you know that's fine. Yay! So we leveled up. So let's loot him first. Nothing found. Then we continue. We should get it with that incident. There you go. Choose a new skill. Now, usually when playing, I choose heal as my secondary skill and put it here, so I can go heal and then I can attack, 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 and heal. But also, I kind of want to up the poison damage, right? So let's do that. I think it would be more fun. So we've got poison too. So now we're doing 12 damage in poison. You can see that'll make a big difference. One skill point makes a big difference. And at this point, we've got 41 health, which is great. So we're going to increase our intelligence by two points. What I tend to do every, every time I level up is I have a thing I'm working on that gets the two points. And I have a secondary which gets the one point. And that's attack speed at this point. So strength is... Strength increases damage in melee weapons. We're using a one, so you know we're just going to ignore that completely. It doesn't matter to us. Do that. There you go. That's just leveled up. Uh, there's still this little flashing thing here because we've got oh we've got another one, have we? Uh, best deal on potions and King's Castle. Hello, Bob. Making your way to the castle won't be an easy task. There are three beacons. Yeah, we have to light the beacons. We know about that. Uh, and then uh, so let's go down, I guess. And then we'll go yeah. And then we'll just come back to this exit maybe. Okay, so attack now with poison. And you should see the poison take quite an effect on him. There you go. 
Your poison's starting to like have way more of an effect than it did last time. Like we could just block this and still kill him at this point. Is that let's do that. Block it and let's just you know, defeated. Loot. Ah, away crystal. These are great. What these do, what these do is um you can you can uh in properties and you can use and this will exit the dungeon. Alright? Yeah? Uh and you can so I tend to put that there. I just put that on my screen. I can get to the use button if we have an emergency. So uh continue. Okay. Yeah. And then this way as well now. This this could this could be interactive object down here, so we can travel here. Probably have an incident on the way. The so poison straight away. Attack. Attack. Yep. Attack. There you go. Yeah, loot. a uh, spirit mask. That could be anything. What does this do? This one it requires level four. 15 damage to humans. That's something I'll put on my head when I'm level 4. Uh, that is definitely something I would like to have. Uh, so we can put that. Oh, where's our bing? Where's our bing? Our bag gone. Uh, our bag's down here. So let's put that in our bag. Some enemies mess with your UI as well, which is cool. Uh, there you go. Yay. And then what's down here? Travel. What's this thing do? This thing does. Use this sacrificial altar. Approach the altar. The altar is decorated with small skull and bloody candles. Sure sign of forbidden magics. Okay, cool. Uh, make a sacrifice. So if you sacrifice 11 health, what do we get? I don't know. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Uh, one stat point. That's quite. That's not a bad trade. If you had loads of potions, um, you could, that'd be great. You fucking get nuts for that. I probably can't, to be fair. But uh, I'm going to use my one, and I'm going to use that on uh, attack speed. I still feel my attack speed's low, and that would help me a lot. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to leave here. Uh, and again, I've got not got loads of health, uh, but I can also uh, use uh, I can also use that to fill up my uh, oh, oh, also use that to fill up my health. And also now we're level three as well, so we can use that. So we've got a lot more defense now. I've got a lot more defense. What have we got? Like five defense. Yeah, we've got five defense now, which is not a defense eight in total. Cool. So we go back the way we came, and again we can leave this dungeon any time we want. Um, and we can go up to here now. And how deep in this dungeon we want to go is now up to us. Ah, oh, shit. So we'll attack. We'll use that. And we'll do that. Oh, there we go. Hit that just on time. Again, if we had faster attack speed, we would have less of this. I like the fact it gives us an option to avoid this damage, though. Pretty cool. Fuck. Ah, defeated by the uh, poison. Circlet. That could be magical. Continue on this road. Shit. Should have checked my circlet first. I just hit poison twice because I'm an idiot. So this one I'm going to block a little bit because we're low on health now. I'm going to do that. And block. And then try and take less damage like that. Hey, new skill points. We're level 4 now. So again, I'm going to have to go with heal now because we do need to heal now. So learn skill heal. Sit down here. If you click on here, you can change the order and things of them anyway. Uh, there you go. And uh, loot. What's it found? I'm not going to hit continue yet. And um, my health is pretty low. But notice with the level up comes a free health boost as well. So every time you level up, you get loads of health. This circlet here, properties, uh, plus three magic, three magic uh, regenerates. That's worth having, so we'll move that up to here. I was going to equip the spirit mask at this level, but we don't need to know. We can just sell that. Um, that point's available, yep. So, again, we want more. We're going to want more. We're going to start pissing through magic now, so we'll put our magic up to two. Uh, and we get our attack speed feels low, so we're going to put that up as well. And then we can hit save again. Yeah, I love this game. I really like it. But like the only thing that really I don't want to say wrong with it, but the only thing that bothers me about it is that um I feel I feel like it uh it would be better if it wasn't a road like like I want a full RPG with story and lore and stuff done in this style. I mean it's not it's a it's a road like and when you die you're just dead. You start again. But uh, I don't know, I feel like with, with this sort of interface with like plot and characters and stuff, it'd be fucking amazing. And that's sort of the criticism I have with it, you know, that's the only the only downside really uh, okay so what's this this ring does plus two intellect right so that should bump up from 18 magic to 20 magics so that's well worth equipping right continue on that path oh we get there again we've got poison him straight away and then uh and then uh yeah attack we basically just keep attacking you can see he's one of the bad guys that affects your ui which is super fucking annoying uh, but yeah, it's it's more annoying than, than anything else. It bother, you know, sometimes it can minimize the attack window, I believe, as well, which is weird. There's some things that go wrong with the spirit mask. Does that one do the same thing? Properties. Plus three damage. Yeah, so another one of those ones. 
Now, there's a strange figure on your path. It's carrying a small bag, overflowing with shiny objects. Approach. We're going to talk as well. I'll let you look at many of them, I promise you. All right, continue. The demon thanks you for sparing me. I'll let you look at these most wondrous objects, and it may be even sad you've won, but just one. So look at the bag of items and 50 gold. We don't have fucking 50 gold. We don't have anywhere near 50 gold. Can we sell out? Can we sell stuff here? I don't know sell stuff to him either. But yeah, if you did have 50 gold, that'd be a great time to, you know, buy something awesome. Because uh, what what are these things? What does this do? Is it binding record for wanting? I oh, see. Can't find out what it does before you buy it. But it's got this nice little blue aura, which probably means there's no negative on it in my experience so far. I probably can't have anything, so leave. Yeah, and then we'll just, I guess we'll just like this way, because we kind of know what's that way. But there's no surprises that way. So we'll go this way for some surprises. Uh, Oh, that's disappointing. That's pretty much the whole dungeon we've explored there. So maybe we can do any, maybe we can do an entire dungeon before we leave and end this video. Uh, but I hope I'm I hope I'm getting across like how interesting and, and well thought out this game is, and how like the the fact it's a desktop environment you're playing in actually makes the game like I'm not gonna say more fun, but it actually like I don't know it feels nostalgic and wonderful. And it just feels nice to play, and I'm I'm I really like really like it. Uh, what did it minimize there? It minimized our log, right? Oh, was that a battle log it minimized? Yeah, it was. Moves it down and minimizes the fuck. Uh, continue. Oh, 25 health. He's going to be a problem. I might die in this fight, actually. Yep. Avoid. Use that. So we've got two seconds to go. We can get out of here pretty quick. Blocking. Hey, we got out. See? With two health, yeah? We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not doing well here. We're not going to get through this. We're not going to get through this. But there's a shop right here, so we can travel there. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we can use our shop here. Now remember, we can, if we have eight, we can sell that for six gold. Sell that for no gold, we'll get rid of our inventory and sell that for six gold. Um, add to cart. <sighs> yep, we can, uh, we can have one of them, which leaves us to ten gold. We know that resting is going to cost us eight gold. So we'll rest, and there you go. We should get some health back. Which is nice. We're up to like 46 health. We started off with like 30. We're up to 46 health now, which is cool. Uh, and then we uh, we can carry on going. Um, yeah, so now we can head this way. Now the map, you can see the tentacles now are coming. Whereas you've seen, uh, there's, it, it's far enough away between the sea and the tentacles. that I can still go back there and do some exploring and stuff before they cause a problem. I haven't yet got caught by them. But uh, that's not to say I won't do. But anyway, I think I've showed you enough of the game now. That... that I think you can make a good idea whether or not you care with whether or not you care about it. I think it's great. I'm really impressed with it. I was kind of regretful I didn't pick it up sooner because I think if I had realised quite how good it was, I would have picked it up ages ago. Um, and yeah. Oh, another thing I should mention as well: doing quests for the guild get you like a lot of XP, like a couple of level ups worth of XP. So that's it. If you if you can like save your monster your your monster gear, like the stuff they do, eyeballs and skulls and bones and stuff, um, just put that in your guild inventory, and eventually you'll probably just stock up enough. That I've had a case where I was saving skulls, and I got the quest to hand in skulls, and I was just like, there's your skulls, and I just got XP without going anywhere. I got a bunch of XP, which is nice. Um, and the warrior is definitely easier to play, but the the magic system with the mage is fun. So yeah, definitely play Kingsway. Really good. I, I would just wish it wasn't, and I just wish that there was a way to play this as a full M as a full MMO, as a full RPG. Great. I, w I would very much like to play it as not as a full RPG. Just someone make that for me. It'd be great. If it exists, if there's a version of this that's a full RPG, someone tell me. Because the road liking is the fact that when I die on this run, I'm doing another run. The early bit is kind of tiresome at first, you know. Um, thanks for watching. I mean, hex. It's been Queen's Way. I've been talking for like fucking 23 minutes. Wow. Um, if you like what I do, you can support me over on Patreon. That's great for me. It helps me out a lot. If you, if you don't like what I do, why, why are you still watching? You should like it anyway, even if you hated it. Bye. Watching.